You guys know how when you upload a video to YouTube, it automatically generates three random thumbnails for you, most of which are the worst frames from your entire video. Well, they've improved that algorithm to now automatically create optimized thumbnails for you to select. I'm gonna talk about how that works and if you should use it coming up right after this. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it is Tuesday. Time to give you guys some YouTube news and updates happening here on YouTube from last week like we do every week. And one of the big ones, guys, is that the automated thumbnails that are selected from your videos are now going through a new algorithm that Honestly, the more I read about it, it just sounds like some sort of weird wizardry type of thing. One of the factors that contributes the most to a video's success is its thumbnail, and YouTube no longer wants to just leave that random up to chance. So here's the new process that YouTube now goes through as you're uploading your video. It starts scanning every single frame in your video at the rate of about one frame per second. Each frame is evaluated by a quality model, and then each of those frames also gets assigned a quality score. As it continues to scan your video. The frames with the highest scores are then delivered to you as one of your three options of a thumbnail that you can select for your video. But how is that score actually calculated? Because as creators, we know that the quality of a thumbnail is actually very subjective. Fortunately, YouTube has a very large data set to work with, including a lot of the custom thumbnails that you and I have been creating and adding to our videos, as well as a lot of really poor thumbnails that have been both created as custom thumbnails and auto-generated ones that YouTube has created in the past. And from all that data, YouTube has learned to look for many things, including is the image well framed? And two, is it in focus? And three, does it seem to be the central image that the video is focused on? Based on that criteria and undoubtedly a lot of other things, they then assign a score to each frame, pick out the best ones, and then they say that they enhance that image and create various different sizes and aspects ratios of it to create the best possible thumbnail. But here's the big question, right? Does this new algorithm from YouTube YouTube actually generate more engagement, more clicks, more traffic, more views, all of that. Well, they say in human tests that people prefer the thumbnails from the new algorithm 65% of the time more than the old system. That tells me that yes, you still should be creating and uploading your own custom thumbnail to your YouTube videos, but maybe YouTube will give you some ideas you might want to consider as well. But that said, knowing Google's track record on algorithm development, they are like the best in the world. And so I'm sure as they continue to work on this and develop this, that maybe years down the road, maybe sooner, I don't know, eventually that I'm sure this algorithm will be working very well. It's just a matter of time. But until then, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. What do you think about YouTube's new algorithm and the way they're experimenting with your thumbnails? I have three other big stories from last week that I'll be sharing with you guys who are patrons of video creators. One about the new video social networking site that's about to overtake Facebook in terms of views, which is really interesting. Also an article about the economic impact that Adblock is having and as well as another article about the rising prevalence of videos that are getting 1 billion views and how much more quickly they're getting them now than they were before and a lot of interesting stuff in that article as well. So all for you guys who are patrons. So if you are one, go check it out. If you're not one, you can learn more about it in the link below. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday, we take a look at online video news. Tomorrow, I'll give you guys some YouTube tips. We do YouTube Q&A on Thursdays, all to help you guys grow your audience so that the people that you're trying to reach with your message can find you, become a part of your channel's community, and hopefully have their lives be changed as a result. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.